So I am currently on my way to pick up a big boy purchase that I've wanted for a long time and it's really going to help out this channel and I'm extremely excited about it. Let's go get it. There they are. I'm extremely excited guys. I got a Mac mini and I got a Samsung 27 inch T55 curved monitor and I'm gonna let you guys know how this is because I've always been editing my YouTube videos off of my phone I can finally do it on a computer let's go I'm gonna show you how to put these together and what the setup looks like Right away, I'll say one thing I was pleasantly surprised with this monitor is that it comes with a high-speed HDMI cord. And I was extremely happy to see that because I planned on having to buy my own HDMI, so I'm happy. Here you can see our power unit, which is actually separate from the cord itself. So we have an adapter, and there you can see our cord. So you get a very long cord with this monitor. You're gonna see our stand here for the screen, and that is our back cover, and there is our bottom plate, which is pretty heavy. Let's get this bad boy put together. So the bottom plate on our monitor actually has a screw on the bottom of it and you'll see as I'm twisting here it'll push up the screw. This is more of a compression fitting that when you're tightening up your Phillips head it's going to pull this stem down and that is what is going to keep our screen in place when it's on our nice sturdy platform here. And here's what it looks like when it's put together. Time to get the screen on. Now what you're gonna want to do is save the foam for your screen because you're gonna wanna lay that foam face down. I took the protective covering off the screen and laid it on the foam beforehand. But here you can see that we have a nice safe spot for your nice new screen and you're not gonna break it. Now I thought the instructions could have been a bit more clear as to how this attaches to the bottom, but you literally want to hold it flush and slide it up. And as you can see, there's a little pin on the right that will unlock this if you ever want to unlock it, but that's all it takes. You just slide it on and it's locked in. Oh my God, I'm already feeling so good about this. So good. So we have this back cover here so you can put your cords going up in, get your HDMI connected and everything, then you can cover it up with this nice little Samsung cover here. Let's open the computer. This is where I'm at right now. I connected my power and HDMI power to the screen. So I've set up my vibes for the podcast I'm on where that's my background. And what I was trying to communicate while I was doing this is I was not sure whether to set up my screen in the corner of my desk or straight on. And you'll see where I set it up in a little bit. All right, so my wire is taped up here temporarily. I'm gonna get some good clips. Looks ugly. Let's fire this up and wrap up this video. All right, our power button is right here on the back. Let's turn that on. Made the Mac sound. Let's see what we got. Pretty sure my screen is on here. Whoa. All right, that's telling me to slide the uh, power on on this old ass mouse that I have. Hola. And what's crazy is this mouse was for an old Mac. We connected right away. And these lines that you're seeing in the video doesn't really do it a justice. This looks extremely clear, wow. 
this picture looks great. $200 screen. It is on Black Friday at Best Buy right now. Again, I do not have any deals with any of these people. Best Buy, Apple, nothing. This screen was $200. I read the reviews on it. You can't see it as well in this video, but man, is that clear. And after some moves, which I had to, this is an older wireless uh, keyboard. So I had to hook up a old, old keyboard that I have for situations like this into our USB in the back. But I'm set up. Now I'm going to connect this. this. I'll be able to find this on Bluetooth now that I was able to get through all of the setup. But here we are on a Samsung curved screen with a Mac computer. And I'm extremely happy about this, guys. I am jacked up. The picture looks amazing. I can't wait to just start setting up my stuff here. Guys, I can't tell you how happy I am to have this set up right now. This is something I've wanted for a long time. I've wanted to be able to edit videos on a computer. I've always enjoyed editing my videos on my phone, but I'm excited to just have a computer set up finally. And I have a lot of plans to bring a lot of good content to you guys on this YouTube channel. I know we're building it up here and I'm not gonna let you down, all right? I appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel. We're over 50,000. We're just getting started. Dave Doc DIY. Thank you guys.